Thai Slav. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. We're gonna get right into this video. So, celebrating failure. Celebrating failure. Um, I noticed that a lot of people, you know, um, they like to take it upon themselves, you know, to go get a drink, uh, you know, smoke some weed. And um, for the most part, you know, it's nothing really wrong, nothing wrong with that. But, um, you know, in my opinion, um, you know, when you're doing things like uh, vices or whatnot, um, you don't really want those things to consume you. You know, you don't want to be dependent on those things. And me personally, how I do it, how I've been doing it recently, is that, um, you know, I use those kind of things as a, uh, as like a reward. Um, I haven't drunk, uh, I haven't smoked any weed in quite some time. Um, but um, I'm not anti-weed, I'm not anti-alcohol, right? Um, I am anti-hard drugs, and be honest about that. I don't think anybody should be doing any type of hard drugs. But, you know, you do whatever you want, you know, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, over here, um, you know, we're talking about self-improvement. Talking about becoming the best version of yourself. <clears throat> of yourself. So, uh, you know, if you're on that path to becoming the best version of yourself, I'm not really sure, you know, how you're going to be able to uh, take in all of these intoxicants when you're on that path. But, um... The liquor and the marijuana, right? So, um, the reason I say if you're consuming these things on a daily basis, right? I say that you're, you're celebrating failure. I remember, um, you know, um, some time back, you know, I would, uh, you know, it'd be a Friday, uh, get up with one of my boys, and, uh, you know, we would go to the liquor store and get a bottle, you know, just because, right? Just because, you know, it was a Friday, we going to get a liquor, a bottle of liquor, we drinking it, uh, you know, we just riding around, uh, you know, drunk, you know, just doing, you know, typical things that young people do, you know, chasing women, you know, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, it wasn't really anything productive going on, you know, there wasn't really no, nothing that we accomplished to have that celebration of cracking open that bottle, you know, sipping, up, sipping that Hennessy, you know, sipping that, uh, whatever we were drinking at the time. And, uh, you know, when you get on that path of you're trying to accomplish things, you know, you're trying to become competent so you can start getting compensated for your competency, um, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice having a good time. You're going to have to sacrifice, you know, smoking weed, cracking that bottle until you can get things done. Now, I know some people that are able to, you know, smoke, drink, you know, stuff like that and still perform at a high level, um, you know, but that's not most people. And then, you know, that's, that's costing you money, you know, that, that stuff is not free. You can't uh, drink liquor and smoke weed for free, you know, that's going to cost you a lot of money. So, um, you know, I'm saving money by doing it. I got a clear head, a clear mind. I'm chasing my purpose. Um, when I get done with this video, I'm going to hit the gym up. Uh, you know, I'm going to work tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to become, uh, stay productive as possible, you know, um, trying to produce, you know, stay on that high level of, of productivity. And, uh, you know, I just don't think personally, and I look for a lot of you guys, that if you're drinking and uh, you're smoking on a regular basis, that you're not going to be able to be productive and become the best version of yourself. Um, you know, that liquor and that weed, it's always going to be there. That stuff is not going anywhere, you know. Uh, take some time out for yourself, you know, an extended amount of time where you just get real, real focused, you know, and get focused, find your purpose. You know what I'm saying? And when you find your purpose, um, you know, start operating in your purpose until that you can become, you know, the best in your field, you know, whatever uh, genre that you're in, you know, try to become excellent at it, try to become a master at it so that you can be, you know, maybe, uh, you know, start getting compensated for it, you know? It doesn't even feel like work if you're really doing something that you truly love and, uh, you know, that you're passionate about. So, uh, you know, I just say, you know, put the vices down, and just really hone in on what you're trying to do. Um, and this is like, you know, um, if you haven't completed anything, you know, what are we really celebrating? You know, just think about that. You know, the next time you go to the liquor store and get a bottle, or the next time, you know, you go to the dispensary and get some weed, you know, just think about, you know, uh, you know, what are you really doing? Why are you really doing it? You know, what is the purpose of you doing it? You know, what are you celebrating? Have you accomplished anything? Or, because uh, if you haven't, and, you know, by default, you know, you just basically, you're just celebrating failure. You know, if you haven't, you're not celebrating a success, 
celebrating failure, you know. And then another thing is uh, I used to hear people say a lot is, uh, you know, I want to go get a bottle because, you know, I'm feeling good. And what I tell y'all about that, about that feeling shit, uh, you know, the addiction that uh, I'm seeing a lot of people have for feeling good is just getting totally out of hand. You know, people are so concerned and so worried about feeling good. Uh, the real world and the facts and the things that really matter is being pushed to the side and their feelings are being exalted above all things else, above, above everything. It's about how I feel, how I feel. And, uh, you know, as a man, um, you can't be living in a world where the only thing that you're concerned about is how you feel. You know, you need to be concerned about what is real, what is the real things that you need to be doing to prepare yourself to the next level. You know, and if your your judgment is clouded on how you feel all of the time, how are you going to be able to navigate and find out what it is your purpose is on this earth is to do? And how are you going to be um, operating at a high level within your purpose if you're uh, concerned or you're addicted to how you feel and feeling good? You know, um, I think drugs and that liquor is just a big distraction. You know, they put down here for us, and we have access to it to distract us to really not. Uh, you know, be focused on our purpose. And, uh, you know, it's a shame if a man, you know, goes through life and he never finds his purpose, he never operates it in his purpose, and you end up, you know, passing away. You know, what a shame it is for a man to never, ever operate in his purpose and just really not do what he was supposed to do while he was here on earth. None of us were put on earth to go to the liquor store, go to the dispensary, get drunk and get high every day. That's not no man's purpose. I don't care who you are. That was not your purpose. You weren't put on earth to be celebrating failures day in and day out. You know, I'm just not trying to hear that. You know, I don't know what your specific purpose is, but all of us have a specific purpose. We all do. So, uh, you know, hopefully you find out what that is before it's too late. You know, hopefully you find out what it is, you know, sooner than later so that you can start, uh, you know, chasing that purpose, man. You put that above everything, you know, put that above your family, your girl, your kid. Your purpose comes before, before every and anything because once you put your purpose first, everybody that you love is going to benefit from you uh, chasing your purpose and operating in your purpose and being proficient in your purpose. See, everybody benefits off that. So that needs to be above all, all else. Uh, so, yeah, man, you know, I just put some... Put something on your mind real quick, man, about, you know, celebrating failure. Uh, like I say, me, myself, I'm abstaining. I've been abstaining from alcohol and uh, marijuana for quite some time. And again, I'm not anti-alcohol. I'm not anti-marijuana. You know, if I do smoke some weed or if I do, uh, you know, have a drink, please believe it would be uh, in a celebratory uh, fashion. Uh, I've accomplished something of significance, of multitude, if I crack open a bottle. Or if I, uh, you know, you see me uh, puffing on that Mary, Mary, that Mary Jane. But uh, until then, I'm putting my head down. I'm rolling up my sleeves, and uh, I'm working. You know, self you know, self uh, self improvement, anti slob, anti sloppy, lazy, obese, bad behavior. Join me on the path. Let's go. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And again, man, y'all watching this video, hit that like button, man. You know, hit that like button. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all agree with what I'm saying, you know, if y'all just want to, you know, maybe you might be on your way to the liquor store now, like, man, this nigga tripping, you know, uh, you may be uh, uh, rolling up some weed right now if you're watching this video, like, man, he tripping, I can smoke weed, and but, but ask yourself this question, though, if you're one of those type of people that are contrarian to this message, if, uh, you know, if you're smoking weed while you're watching this or you think that I'm just full of shit, ask yourself, are you actually where you want to be at in life right now? Are you actually um, at the level that you want to be right now? Are you successful? You know, are you wealthy? Are you rich? Are you on the path to being wealthy and being rich? You know, do you really have the things that you really desire in life? You know, the, for the people that are uh, sitting back smoking their weed or hitting their drink as they're watching this and think that I'm full of shit, you know? Uh, you know, let me know in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? That that's, if you're that guy. And, uh, you know, I would love to hear from you. But again, man, uh, hit that like button, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this thing, you know, uh, adding value to you guys, adding value to myself. And I'm sharing the knowledge because I really do care about you. And I want you to become the best version of yourself so that, you know, your family, yourself, your community can benefit off that. If you're a man and you become the best version of yourself, and guess what? Everybody benefits off of that, you know. So uh, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. 
Hit that like button again. Hit that subscribe button again. Peace. Anti-slides, anti-lazy, trying to be the best me that I can be. It's up to me. I'm taking all accountability. I just gotta keep going hard to get the win. To get the win. Again and again. No pain, no gain. This ain't just a diet plan. This a whole life change. This a whole life choice. Listen to my voice. You can tell I ain't playing. I'm trying to be the best I can be. That's my goal. So I'm gonna go, go, go. Yeah, go, go, go. Anti-slides. Anti-slab, anti-slab, anti-slab.